Welcome to the Omo Valley in Ethiopia, home to some of the most unique tribes in Africa, some of which we've met already. In this video, we visit the Karo tribe. There are only 1,000 left. They're famous for the elaborate paints they use on their skin, something they continue to do today. But before we arrive, we find something we didn't expect. Kids on stilts. They're from a neighboring tribe called the Bana. They use these stilts to get a better view of their cattle when they're grazing. How cool is that? Right? Continuing the journey, we arrive at the Karo village. And go say hi. Misu. <laughs> Misu. Misu. I'm here again with Ben. You're already making me look pretty, Mike. <laughs> Gumbo. This is the most beautiful I've ever seen you right now. We are currently in Lower Omo Valley. Nice to meet you. Misu. Misu. This is nice. This is we meet our guide, Lakoya, who will be showing us around today. He's a fearsome man. I've got some questions about the incredible paint they use on their skin. I'm told he can show us how it works. So we follow. Uh, I don't want to stand in front of that rifle. It's like a World War II rifle. Where are we going? Yeah. Okay, Ah, with the, the, the piercings, or yeah. the used to be piercings. Lakoya shows me his ears, which get cut into designs at marriage. They scar that way. These, uh, it's always kind of funny, these cultural exchanges, because, uh... These things they're carrying are wooden pillows. Yeah, you heard me right. They also use them as chairs. Everyone carries them, but more on those in a sec. <laughs> we don't speak the same language. Oh, you speak English? Yeah, small. Small English. Yeah. I'll take it. This is married, but I'm not married. You see, they here the car. Oh. The married doing the married Hilton's cuts. So the ears is when married. And this is for football, right? Yeah. Like this. What is your name? Colombo. Koronfo? Yes. Mike, nice to meet you, Koronfo. Koronfo. <laughs> this is a gumo <laughs> with the spirals and the smile. Uh, and I oh, guess we go inside, Ben. Oh. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's do it, man. And here we go. Hello. Hello. How are you? I am good, man. Oh, look, let me go. Cow skin on the floor. We got some calabash gourds up here, used as pots and storage. Lakoya, can we see the, the clay? This? Mm -hmm. Is it here? Oh, it's here. It's in one of the calabash gourds. A calabash is like a pumpkin shell. They make great bowls, don't they? It was like sand. Oh, strange. It feels like cream, like. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I thought it would be, like, clay is much harder. This is like very soft, almost like face cream, like you'd buy like in, in a pharmacy. Boronfo begins to apply the paint, and I'm not quite sure what it is. It feels a bit like clay, but not quite. I ask about the designs. They're inspired by nature. The plumage of a bird, the stripes on an animal. Basically, the whole body is covered. Scars, ink, paint, cloth. We all cover our bodies in something. To express ourselves, to look good, to find a partner, to show status, to show our worth. We may be far away from home, but don't act like we don't do the same. Then the guys offer some to me. Sure, let's get fancy. The Karo used to be pastoralists, meaning they made their livelihood from grazing cattle, like the Mercy or the Maasai. But due to disease and an ever-worsening drought, they had to abandon their livestock and turn to farming. But while life has changed, 
they still maintained their most iconic practice of painting their bodies and faces. It is hot in this hut and I have not yet seen myself. The grand reveal. I'm covered in dots, man. I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Do you remember what thank you was? Barrio Cone. Barrio Cone? Yeah, Barrio Cone. Barrio Cone, my friend. Bufona. Barrio Cone. Barrio Cone, Muni. Barrio Cone. Barrio Cone. Barrio Cone. Thank you. Barrio Cone. Barrio Cone. There we go. Now I think it's time for some lunch. <laughs> Looks like I have chicken pox a little bit. But uh, it's for beauty, right? How do I look? Good? Yeah? He says good, kinda. <laughs> We're off to uh, see some of the cooking. So we saw the actual sorghum being ground by the women and someone actually is cooking it right now that we can go apparently try. It's about lunchtime. I think we're all a little bit hungry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Oh, shoes, shoes outside, yeah? Shoes outside. Uh-huh. <laughs> Amazing. This is Lugo, or beautiful Lugo. Beautiful Lugo lives here with her husband, and that piercing is a nail. It was her daughter Mooney who helped me paint my face. <laughs> home sweet home. She's making a sorghum porridge, which was ground by hand using stones. Corn porridge is common across Africa, and we've seen it many times with the himba. Okay, much better, much better. <laughs> and the hadza. Uh, sorghum is used here instead of corn because it needs less water to grow. We change some camera settings around as it cooks, and then we relax. But to relax in the Omo Valley, you need a special tool. Since I gotta be all modern and shit, let me show you the TikTok I made. Yeah, I'm on TikTok. I know. This is a Carol pillow. Let me show you how it works. It's a wooden pillow. Yeah, that's right. So firstly, it's got a portable handle. Secondly, you can use it as a stool. Check it out. But also, like I said, it's a pillow. And you can have a nice restful night just like this. How does it look? Comfortable? Yeah? The most important thing, you can hear the lions or hyenas eating your cattle. Second thing, no bugs get in your ears. Also very important. So I'm gonna take a little nap. What do you think? Looks comfy? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Gotta say, not super comfortable, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Lunch was taking a little longer than expected. So I asked if we could go down to the riverbank to show you something important. This is what I wanted to show you, the Omo River, the star of the Omo Valley. And as you can tell, it's a little low. There's a reason why it's low. And we're gonna go on a little boat ride and talk about it. All right, Gumbo, see you in a bit? Yeah, see you in a bit, man. <laughs> How fun. I always do. Okay. Um, Agumo pushes us along, and Lakoya tries on Ben's sunglasses. <laughs> Looking good, man. Super cool. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you read English, Kakaro? Kakaro. Okay. Can you read lamb? Is there? Yeah, cow. 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 Yeah, cow. Lamb or yeah. the other ones? Karo. Waki. Waki. Karo. Ka. Karo waki. Karo waki. Waki. Like karo cows, maybe. Uh, karo waki. Okay. All right, here's the deal. <sighs> the Omo is obviously very important, and the water that goes through it supports many of the tribes that live in the valley. There has been three dams built on the Gibe River that flows into the Omo, and these are the effects. The water levels drop maybe, what is that, eight or 10 meters. And that causes a lot of problems here for the tribes. As you can tell, the land erodes into the river 
as well as to get water, it's much, much, much more difficult to do that. Okay, While hydroelectric power is a solution for some problems in Ethiopia, it's causing many as well, especially for the people that call this valley home. Some fear that these tribes won't be around for much longer. It's sad to think that soon this could all be gone. Lakoya runs up the riverbank. He wants to show me something. I got it. So look at this. This is what the Karo used to paint themselves. Lakoya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. It's chalk. It's a Karo. And it breaks. Let's get in the sun, man. It breaks. Look at that. Just like powder. It looks like it'd be a rock, but it's brittle like the sidewalk chalk. Okay. And they take it from the river up to the village. And these are for paint. Just like that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. We head back to the village. Lunch is ready. Sorghum porridge is finished. Look at that. I don't think I've had sorghum before, honestly. Let's give it a shot. Is it? It's almost like the consistency of, uh, you took like whole wheat bread and you balled it up with your hands and made kind of like little balls like this. Not just like that. Oh, there you go. You make a little wee wee. <laughs> like this, right? Uh huh. <laughs> you make a little wee wee. Yeah. And then what? You ate? Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> this plant is the one that we saw with the mercy. Come on. Where are we going? Let's go. But in Omo Valley, <laughs> sorghum is one of the most important foods, full of nutrients. And especially now, since a lot of these tribes can't carry cattle, can't care for cattle because it's harder, this shit saves lives. And it's not bad either. Hello, what is your name? <coughs> Mike. You? Zeri. Zeri. Your name? Mura. Mura. Mooni. 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 Zeri. Zobo. Muni, Zeri, Zobo. Zobo. <laughs> Look at your smile, Zobo. And me? Mike. Mike, there we go, you got it. Wow. You know it's hot when. Uh, even the goats <laughs> are using your Jeep as sun protection. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for the disruption. Koronfo was really interested in how the camera worked. So I give him and his friend the GoPros to go make a vlog of their own. Make a movie. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See this storage? So I'm on the side. You know, he's up in tech. Sometimes the human they, they take kiss. Then it seems like one of my cameramen catches the giggles. <laughs> um, this is the the Kara village. The village name is Kocho. <laughs> you see, this is very far. This is from Turkish cotton farming. Cotton requires no. a lot of water to grow and is one of the foreign developments contributing to the lack of water in the area. It is a normal knee house, sometimes the people there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a kitchen. The sign says sometimes the human to cook inside. <laughs> okay, you see, this is the calabash. Normally it is the bull jumping trail we do painting. The bull jumping rite of passage he's talking about is common for boys in the Omo Valley, where they run across the backs of live bulls to prove they're a man. This is the boss for this village. The older is a 50 years old. For this village, he's got the chief. This is normally the copy from Ethiopia during the same morning. The super put inside and then. <laughs> Yeah. 
बाय बाय दाव करे लगा फील ऑफ फील आ रहा है अमेजिंग थैंक यू सो मच मैन थैंक यू And that is the Caro tribe in Ethiopia. Up front we got my man Gumbo. Yeah, a sexy face paint. I know, right? <laughs> in the back we got Ben and Oh yeah. Gumbo makes these trips happen. Contact him if you want to come to Africa. Ben, you see the shit that Ben shot today? It was delicious. Yeah, baby. <laughs> we had a great time. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that little bell. And I'll see you in the next video here in Ethiopia on Fearless and Fire.